Now in Tampa, an emotional day in court. The mother of two teenage murder victims took the stand in the trial of one of their alleged killers. Our John Thomas has been following the case all day, and he joins us live with the latest. And John, I can't even imagine how difficult this must have been for that grieving mother. Oh, absolutely painful. You're right. You know, think of it. She's on the stand testifying in the murders of her two children, her only children. 20 feet away is a guy accused of killing both her kids. At one point at the end when her testimony was over, she actually ran from the courtroom. This is how it played out. A mother takes the stand in the courtroom, now sitting across from Charles Waits, one of the men accused of murdering her two teenage children in their Tampa home. Her emotion takes her. Judy Brito is asked about that day, June 5th, 2011, when she last talked to her 13-year-old son, Jeremy, who was out too late. Did you make a request of him at that time? Yes. And what did you ask him to do? To go home. Okay. It was after he came home here on West Van Buren Drive that investigators believe he, along with his 16-year-old sister, Kiara, were confronted by Waits and Tavari Grant and the house robbed and both Kiara and Jeremy shot and killed. On the stand, mom would identify her purse, watches, and her daughter's ring. How did you recognize that ring? I had purchased it for her. So mm -hmm. I knew it was hers, I mean. When did you purchase it for her? When she was just a little girl. <laughs> Investigators have said they have video of Waits and Grant pawning some of those items. But the defense has said Waits was forced into the robbery against his will. And what started out as a bad situation turned deadly through no fault of his own. You may step down. Thank you. As unwarranted as it is, you wonder if fault is what mom, Judy, holds on to, having told her son, as most parents would, to get home. Rushing from the courtroom, you know pain is what holds her. Now in the courtroom, you could hear it, I did not see it, but talking to people outside the courtroom, they say they believe when she left the courtroom, she threw up. That's how painful that was. In Tampa, John Thomas, ABC Action News, back to you.